Here rests an honored glory, an American soldier known but to God. Each footstep is so precise that indentations have been worn into the mat. Exactly 21 steps are taken to cross the tomb. The soldier stops and faces the tomb for 21 seconds. He turns, places his weapon on his opposite shoulder, and waits for another 21 seconds. Then another 21 steps are taken to cross back. 21, the number symbolizes the 21 gun salute, the highest honor given to an American or foreign dignitary. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, the tomb is guarded, regardless of weather. Nothing deters the guards from carrying out their duty. Since 1937, the U.S. Army has perpetually guarded the tomb of the unknown soldier. In 1948, the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, also known as the Old Guard, assumed the duties of protecting the tomb. It's considered one of the highest honors to serve as a guard for the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Many will volunteer to serve in this position. Only a few will be accepted into training, and only a small percentage of those soldiers will actually serve as guards. In fact, the badge that identifies the soldier as a tomb guard is the second least awarded decoration in the entire U.S. Army. Posts and orders remain as directed. Orders acknowledged. Ready, haste! Regent, arms! Directly in front of the tomb is a memorial amphitheater, which seats 3,500 people and has hosted state funerals and military ceremonies, as well as the funeral services for each of the unknown. Every U.S. president since 1921 has spoken here to commemorate Memorial Day. The Memorial Amphitheater was the dream of Judge Ivory Kimball, who wished to have a place to honor America's defenders. President Woodrow Wilson placed the cornerstone on October 15, 1915. Inside the cornerstone is a box that contains several items, including a Bible, the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution, and a U.S. flag. The Memorial Amphitheater is constructed mainly of Vermont quarried marble. Construction took several years to complete, and the Memorial Amphitheater was finally dedicated on May 15, 1920. The Memorial Amphitheater display room houses the American flags that were draped on the caskets of the unknowns, as well as the medals that were presented to them. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier was built to receive the remains of a single unknown service member from World War I. The remains of the World War I unknown were selected by U.S. Army Sergeant Edward Younger, a highly decorated soldier from World War I. Sergeant Younger is also buried at Arlington National Cemetery in Section 18. Four caskets containing the remains of the unknown soldiers were placed in front of Sergeant Younger. He placed white roses on one of the caskets, and those remains were officially chosen as the unknown soldier who would be buried in the plaza. The unknown soldier was officially interred on November 11, 1921. Eventually, Congress approved a permanent monument to mark the tomb of the unknown soldier. A design competition was held, and the winning design was by Lorimer Rich. A 56-ton marble block was quarried in Yule, Colorado. The block was inscribed with the words, Here rests in honored glory, an American soldier known but to God. The marble sarcophagus was placed in 1931 over the grave of the World War I unknown soldier. Over 20 years later, Congress authorized an unknown from World War II and the Korean War to be buried at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Two candidates from World War II, one from the Atlantic Theater of Operations and the second from the Pacific Theater of Operations, were placed in identical caskets and brought on board the USS Canberra, where they were placed alongside the Korean War unknown. Navy Hospital Corpsman First Class William Charette, who was the Navy's only living enlisted recipient of the Medal of Honor, made the final selection of the World War II unknown. 
four candidates from the Korean War Unknown were disinterred from a cemetery in Hawaii. Army Master Sergeant Ned Lyle made the final selection of the Korean War Unknown. President Eisenhower awarded the World War II and the Korean War Unknown the Medal of Honor, and on May 30, 1958, they were buried alongside the World War I soldier. The Vietnam War Unknown was selected by Medal of Honor recipient Marine Corps Sergeant Major Alan Kellogg, Jr. The selection ceremony was conducted in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. As with the Vietnam Unknown, thousands paid their respects to each of the unknown service members as they lay in state at the rotunda. On May 28, 1984, the casket of the Vietnam Unknown was transported to Arlington National Cemetery, where President Ronald Reagan presided over the ceremony. President Reagan presented the Vietnam Unknown with the Medal of Honor, and his remains were laid to rest between the World War II and Korean War Unknown. A decade later, a published article claimed the Vietnam Unknown was potentially Air Force First Lieutenant Michael Blassie. Eventually, DNA tests were conducted and Blassie's identity was established. In 1998, his remains were removed from Arlington National Cemetery and flown back to his family's hometown of St. Louis. Today, the crypt that held the remains of the Vietnam Unknown stays empty, and the crypt cover has been replaced with one that has the inscription, honoring and keeping faith with America's missing servicemen, 1958 to 1975. For love of country, they accepted death. President James A. Garfield. 21 steps to cross the tomb. Pause for 21 seconds, then 21 steps back. It's a process that's repeated throughout the day. The three unknown will continue to be guarded in this fashion every day of the year, every year of this century, and beyond. We owe them and every service member who has fought to defend this great nation our unending gratitude. Arlington National Cemetery. Honor. Remember. Explore.